In this lecture, we will cover the differences between testing in traditional and agile approaches. In the first chapter, we saw the difference between sequential model and agile model. For this chapter, you have to keep that in mind. What we can conclude is the agile models differ in terms of the way testing and development activities are integrated, the project work products, the names, entry, and exit criteria used for various levels of testing, the use of tools for example, continuous integration tool, which we covered in the last chapter, how independent testing can be effectively utilized. Each of these points we will explain in detail in the upcoming lecture. Other than this, what you need to know is, test activities are related to development activities, and thus, testing varies in different life cycles. Now what you must know is, Agile model is not implemented the same way in all the organizations. Its implementation totally depends on the organization and the need of the project. Even two team in the same organization can implement Agile model in a different way. Therefore, testers should remember that organizations vary considerably in their implementation of life cycles. Deviation from the ideals of Agile life cycles may represent intelligent customization and adaption of the practices. The ability to adapt to the context of a given project including the software development practices actually followed, is a key success factor for testers.